In this video, I'm going to go through some of the problems in Unit 1 test. The first question is write the equation for the function with zeros 5 and 2 over 3 that passes through the point negative 1 and 3. We are supposed to express the final function in standard form. I'm going to use the x-intercept form or factored form of a quadratic function. This becomes y is equal to a times x minus the first 0, which is 5, times x minus the second 0, which is 2 over 3. Now to find a, I know that the point negative 1 and 3 has to satisfy this equation. So if I substitute x negative 1 and y 3, I can solve for a. So from here I get that 3 is equal to a times x is negative 1, negative 1 minus 2 over 3. Now this becomes 3 is equal to a times negative 6 times negative 1 is negative 3 over 3, negative 2 over 3 is negative 5 over 3 which is going to give me 30 over 3, which is 10a. So from here, a becomes 3 over 10. So our equation becomes y is equal to 3 over 10 x minus 5 times x minus 2 over 3. Now if I expand this one, I get 3 over 10 times x times x is x squared, x times negative 2 over 3 is negative 2 over 3x, negative 5 times x gives me negative 5x, and negative 5 times negative 2 over 3 gives me 10 over 3. If we simplify this one, we get 3 over 10 times x squared. Now negative 2 over 3, negative 5, if we simplify, simplify this one, we are going to get negative 2 over 3 minus 15 over 3. So it's going to be negative 17 over 3x and then plus 10 over 3. Now I'm going to multiply 3 over 10 inside the bracket. So we are going to get y is equal to 3 over 10 x squared. Now 3 over 10 times negative 17 over 3 gives us negative 17 over 10 x. And 3 over 10 times 10 over 3 gives us 1. Question number 2 says simplify the following expression. 2 plus square root of 1 over 108 over 2. To do this one, we know that 108 is the same as 27 times 4. So I can write this one as 2 plus square root of 27 times 4 divided by 2. Now, 4 comes out of the square root becomes 2, so it becomes 2 plus square root of 27 over 2, and there is a 2 here. Now, I can simplify everything by 2, so I divide this by 2, this by 2, and this by 2, so I get 1 plus square root of 27, but square root of 27 is 9 times 3, 9 comes out and becomes 3, so it becomes 1 plus 3 square root of 3. The next question says solve this following system of equations graphically. f of x is x squared minus 4 and f of x is equal to negative x minus 2. The first one I'm going to plot the quadratic I can see from quadratic that I can write it as f of x is equal to x minus 0 squared minus 4. 
So from this form, I know that the vertex is going to be at 0 and negative 4. So this is my vertex here. Since the leading coefficient is plus 1, so the parabola opens upward. Now, to find the uh, x-intercepts, I'm going to let x squared minus 4 to be equal to 0. So from here, I find that x is plus or minus 2. So these are the x-intercepts. And the y-intercept, I let x to be 0. So the y-intercept becomes... 0 minus 4 which is negative 4 which is going to be the same point so this means that the parabola is going to go upward and it's going to look something like this now to plot the line I'm going to find the x-intercept and y-intercept to find the x-intercept I let f of x to be 0 so I'm going to get negative x minus 2 to be 0 so from here I find that x is equal to negative 2 so x is equal to negative 2 which is this point and the y-intercept I'm going to let x to be 0 so I'm going to find that f of x or f of 0 is negative 2 so it's going to be this point this means that I can draw a line going through these two points. Now, you can see that the point of intersection, the first one is this one, which is going to be negative 2 and 0. And the second one is going to be around here, which is going to be 1 and negative 3. Now, to check that if 1 and negative 3 satisfies the equations, I'm going to pick one of them, let's say the quadratic, and I'm going to say f of 1 is going to be 1 squared minus 4, which is negative 3, which is correct. And also I'm going to check the second one, the line, I'm going to get f of 1 is negative 1 minus 1 is negative 3, which is correct. So the point of intersections are negative 2 and 0 and 1 and negative 3. The next question says explain how square root of 108 is the same as 6 square root of 3. We can say that 108 square root of 108 can be written as square root of 36 times 3 which is the same as square root of 36 times square root of 3, but square root of 36 is 6 square root of 3, which is the same as what it wants. The next question says that you have a rectangular coral, which is built using 224 meters of fencing, if the coral is built with a wall of large barn as one side and with fencing enclosing the other three sides, what is the maximum possible area of the coral in square meters? So we are going to draw a rectangle and one side is the bar. Let's call this side L, this side L, and this side W. We know that L plus L plus W, which is 2L plus W, is the total fencing, which is 224. So from here, I can find that W is 224 minus 2L. Now, I know that the area, by definition, is LW, but instead of W, I'm going to use this definition. So I'm going to find that it's L times 224 minus 2L. If I distribute this one inside, I get negative 2L squared plus 224L. Now, you can see that this is a quadratic formula with the leading coefficient negative 2, so it opens downward, 
and the vertex is the maximum and what we want is the maximum possible area so we have to find the a coordinate of the vertex we know that v sub l the shortcut is negative b over 2a which is which is negative 224 divided by 2l 2a which is 2 times negative 2 this one is equal to 56 now I'm going to put this back in this equation to find the maximum area so I get that V sub A is equal to negative 2 times 56 squared plus 2 to 4 times 56 if you simplify this one you will get the maximum area to be 6272 square meter the next question says that you have a rectangular skating rink which has a dimension of 40 by 20. So this is our rectangle which is 40 by 20. Now we know that the area automatically is 20 times 40 which is 800. Now <clears throat> we want the area to be doubled by extended, extending each side by the same amount. So the new area becomes 2 times 800 because it's doubled and every side is increased by the same amount. Let's say x. So this is the new sides 40 plus x and 20 plus x. Now we are, we are supposed to find the value of x or the amount that we have to extend. So if I distribute these inside and move this guy to the left, I get 40 times 20 is 800 plus 40x plus 20x plus x squared minus 1600 is equal to 0. If we simplify this one, we get x squared plus 60x minus 800 is equal to 0. To solve this quadratic equation, I use quadratic formula. The discriminant d is b squared minus 4ac, which is 60 squared minus 4 times negative 800 times 1, which is going to give me 6800, which is greater than 0, so it means I have two zeros, two solutions for x. So I'm going to write x1 and 2 is equal to minus b minus b is minus 60 plus or minus square root of 6800 square root of 6800 is around 82.5 divided by 2a which is 2 so there are two solutions either positive or negative the positive if i take the positive here or if i go with the negative if i go with the positive negative 60 plus 82.5 divided by 2 is going to give me 11.25 if I go with negative negative 60 minus 82.5 divided by 2 is going to give me negative 71.25 since x is the increase in the dimension of the box and can't be negative so this is not valid so the answer is 11.25. So this means that if you increase each side by 11.25 meters, the area is going to become 1600 or double the previous area. The next question talks about the daredevil, a daredevil which jumps from the CN Tower and falls freely for several seconds before releasing his parachute. His height before releasing his parachute can be modeled by this quadratic equation. And after releasing the parachute, his height is given by this linear equation. The question said, how long after jumping did the dirt devil release his parachute. This means that the height before and after they have to be equal. So 
min hai yi minus 4.9t squared plus t plus 360 has to be equal to negative 4t plus 142. Now I'm going to collect all the like terms or all the terms on one side. So I'm going to write, I'm going to move this to the left, this to the left. I get negative 4.9t squared plus t plus 360 plus 4t minus 142 is equal to 0. If we collect all the term, like term, we get negative 4.9t squared plus 5t plus 218 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation to solve it and we use the quadratic formula so the discriminant d is b squared which is 5 squared which is 25 minus 4ac which is 4 times negative 4.9 times c which is 218 this one is going to give us 4297.8 which is greater than 0 so I have 2 roots here now, to find the two roots, I'm going to find t12 with minus b, which is minus 5, plus or minus. Now, square root of 4,297.8 is going to be 65.6. .6. So, this is 65.6 .6 divided by 2a, which is 2 times negative 4.9, which is negative 9.8. Now, I can either go by adding 65.6 .6 or subtracting 65.6. .6. If you use the addition, negative 5 plus 65.6 .6 divided by negative 9.8, you're going to get negative 6.18, which obviously is not accepted because time cannot be negative. If we go with the negative, 65.6 .6, meaning negative 5 minus 65.6 .6 divided by negative 9.8 you get 7.2 seconds which is the answer so after 7.2 seconds the parachute was released and the next question is that at what height the parachute was released so to find this one I'm going to use one of the equations and substitute this value to find h the easiest one is the linear one so h of 7.2 is negative 4 times 7.2 plus 142 which is going to give me 113.2 meters so the parachute was released after 7.2 seconds at the height of 113.2 meters.